Dave, what's up? David Wood here for David Wood FX. Our first After Effects tutorial. I'm finally off the GIMP bandwagon and ready to show you guys a cool uh, project inside of After Effects. And also I have a new mouse and a new microphone. So, let me show you a preview of what we will be creating today. Okay. As you can see, it comes in, we got sparks flying off this loading bar here. And there's a lens flare going on. And it says GIMP know-how because I made it for him. And also, uh, we got the text here that changes on the speed. And the sparks, the amount varies based on the speed too. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, We'll just go ahead and create a new composition. We'll just call it bar. We'll use the NTSC DV preset. Uh, 10 seconds is long enough. Uh, 29.97 frames. And then we need to create a new solid. And go to effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. And then we have to go to the transform options, bring the scale down to around 20 should work. The contrast up to 300. And the brightness down a little bit, about negative 30. Uh, next we have to go to effect, blur and sharpen, directional blur. And set the blur direction between 25 and 45. Or 20 and 45, somewhere in there. We want it to be a little bit horizontal but not too much and then blur it out about 70 or 80 should work fine uh, we'll go back into the fractal noise and darken that up a little bit more maybe change the contrast to 400 there we go and also uh, starting on frame 0 we have to set a keyframe for offset turbulence move to the end of the composition and drag along the X axis and push that over to about 1000 should work for this and then we can drag this into a new composition. And in this new composition, we want to turn on Title Action Safe. And we want to take our mask tool, a rectangular mask tool, and draw a narrow rectangle all the way across. And we can use the Title Action Safe to kind of line it up and center it, just like that. Uh, we might even just bring this top part down a little bit just like that uh, so then we can turn that off so there we have it it's going across perfect and then we can create another solid make it white and then take the rectangle tool and we just want to cover half of that loading bar and then set the blend mode to overlay and turn on the track mat. And then also select the layer and hit MM to reveal the mask properties. And we'll just give it a feather of about five pixels. So there is the basic effect. Actually, um, I will go ahead and resize the mask a little bit more. Let's see. It's a little too narrow. So I'll just widen that out a little bit. Okay, now we can drag this into the new comp ones again. We'll rename this Final. And now we need to go to Effect, uh, Transition, Linear Wipe. Set the wipe angle to negative 90 and move ahead to about six seconds should work fine uh... set a keyframe for the transition completion move down um, a little bit before about half a second should work fine and set the transition to one hundred and then we can hit u to reveal our keyframes and you can see it there it goes across and it's got a little bit of a delay before it actually appears on screen um, we'll also set a keyframe in the middle. I want to be able to change this so it starts out slow and then as it gets here it's going to go faster. We can even bring that other keyframe in 
a little bit more. That way it's fast. Okay, uh, next we can go ahead and color uh, the bar. I'll just use curves. I want this to be an orange color to match the sparks and then a little bit of contrast just like so and then I'll create a new solid I'll just make it red and we want to go to effect simulation CC particle systems 2 and this is the 2D particle generator it's a little easier to control we'll turn the birth rate down to 1 uh, longevity to 1 We'll go into the producer, change the radius of the X to zero, and then we can go ahead and position that. And we want to position this over here at the beginning, just like so. Right about there. And uh, we can hit, oh, we don't have any keyframes yet. Uh, then we can go into the physics, turn the velocity to 0.8, turn the gravity to 0.8, uh, inherit velocity up to about 70. Uh, we'll turn up the resistance a little bit. And in the particles, we can bring up the opacity, set the blend mode of these to add, and then change the colors to some suitable oranges just about that way and then change the blend mode to add as well uh, now we can uh, bring up the keyframes for our loading bar and go to the first keyframe and then under the producer settings for the particle systems alt click on the stopwatch or not alt click just click set a keyframe and then we can move to our other keyframes here and just move along the Y or the X just like so and then it's gonna shoot across just like that okay so the particles are gonna come over here and as the bars moving across, they're shooting out, and then it's going to hit here, and they're going to start flying in the direction of, or in the direction that the loading bar is going in. Now uh, we can take this layer and hit U to reveal our keyframes, and then also Alt click on the birth rate and drag, or use the pick whip to drag to the position. And at the end, we can delete that O inside the parentheses and type dot speed times point zero 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 eight. <clears throat> so this means whatever the speed is of the position, it will add the birth rate. So back here when it's moving really slowly, there's only a few little particles flying off few sparks but when it hits this spot and starts shooting off we'll have a lot more and actually we can go ahead and increase that a little bit more to, just so we have some more flying across um, next we need to take the particle system and duplicate it control D and the second one will hit U to reveal all our expressions and keyframes alt click on the birth rate and that'll remove it that expression and alt click again and take the pick whip this time and parent it to the birth rate of the first one we can do the same thing with the position pick whip that so now we can move the other ones around and we won't have to fool with that anymore so uh, that's it for this part um, I will see you inside of part two